Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So, I, think this is I got this. This, as you can see. I bought it on Timu. It's one of the few things that I actually bought on Timu that I'm going to actually show you today. So it oh. is called the Wireless Lavier. Lavier, I don't know. Microphone. Um, but we're going to test it out. And for the remainder of this video, we're going to test it out. So, let's get into it. So, I already pulled it, obviously. But, it... So, it comes with... Let me show you everything. So, it comes with the charger, obviously. You get the charger. And you get... I'm assuming this is an adapter that you're going to actually put in your phone. Because this is the section that you have to put in your phone. It's a Type-C because I, I have a Samsung phone. And then you get two mics. So this mic already has the, the windbreaker, I think it's called. I'm not really sure. But it already has a windbreaker on it. So I already put it on it. So we're going to test out the windbreaker part. And you also get. So when it comes, it looks like this. But I'm going to plug it into the phone now. And then for the rest of this video, we're just going to be testing it out. So, yeah. So, yeah. so when you plug it in, right? There is a button right here. I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're gonna see it because it's kind of dark. Let me just turn to the. So you see that button, right? So that button, right? This button right here. If you turn to the light so you can see it, you're gonna press it down and then you're gonna get a little light right here. So see? you're gonna get a red and green when it's peering, and when it's peered, you're gonna get this green. Apparently, if you're going to use both microphones, this is supposed to plug into. right here right here so it's actually supposed to plug in like this if we're going to use two microphones and then i'm guessing one attaches to one person and one attaches to the other person so we're going to go through the instructions because before i get into the other part of this video let me ensure so you get a little manual see get a little manual i'm outside now um let me see if I can go over to my Aki tree hover. Hopefully no one's in their car. Let me check so I don't look retarded. Sitting. Alright. So. Alright, so. Now we're using the mic to see if it works. Um, I don't know if it does. But let's see. We're going to be making random noises or just making sounds or just talking for a good 30 seconds to a minute. I have to check the time because I have school and my lunch break ends at I think 1.15. So yeah, so I'm talking as low as I can with the mic and um, hopefully it works. Alright, so... But that said, um, the mic works. Um, the rain kind of came back down, so I can't, I can't test out the one with the windbreaker in it. I can't test it out this one because what I realized is that it was conflicting with the when it was close to me because when I was trying to make a call with it, um, we realized that because the device I'm using has a built-in mic. So it's conflicting with that mic, right? So, yeah. So the mic works. I don't know if the windbreaker works, but over time we're going to know that. But this is only convenient for it, like if I'm doing like a sit down video or something. But it's not convenient if I'm going to have the phone or the device, any device I'm using. That's not the camera. Um, or not that Casa Brave 7 camera um, close by because if it, if that device has a built-in um, mic then it's going to conflict and I'm not going to hear anything so it looks like it did switch out but I don't know but yeah we know the mic works so what we're going to go ahead and do in the next part of the video while the rain falls and I have let me see how much time I have left and I have about 7 minutes until my lunch break is done and I have to go back to class 
we're going to go through what else I bought on Timu and then yeah that will be the video for today hopefully I can get it up um, edit it and get it up for today as well for class and then I'm gonna have to leave work early because rain is falling so you know taxis don't like to work when rain rainfall so yeah so get into this part video pardon me if I am butchering the name I don't know it all right so let's get into doing the review of the camera accessories that I bought from Timu if anybody knows this is my camera the audio on it is very terrible very terrible and if you want to know how terrible it is go watch my video from when I was with my birthday it's terrible so I kind of bought the mic the Livier mic to kind of help out with the audio but the only thing that can work with it is the internal mic or the mic that comes with it which is that plug-in thing that you pin right here with a little card and I'm struggling so I'm gonna have to find an app that can probably I'm gonna have to find an app the rain is kind of blowing in now but so I'm also gonna use this like when rain is falling and I'm going outside because it is waterproof as we all know so this is a camera it didn't come in the accessories but this is a camera that I bought these accessories for um so I got the selfie stick because sometimes I'm guessing if I want the camera to be far away from me, it's pretty long. Unfortunately, I can't show you the entire length. Let me see. So this is it. Drag it out. This is how long it is. And this is just me moving my hand. And then push it in. Yeah, so it's pretty long. To be very honest with you. It comes like this. And um, this is also convenient like if I'm using my phone as well. Because it does have a section that you can connect the little, the, the little section that I, I don't remember what I think it's called a tripod. Don't butcher me with this. I'm not really good at these names. But it comes with a section that I can attach the phone holder to. Um, what else? So if this camera doesn't really work out for me, I'm most likely going to... Because this camera can also be a dash camera if you weren't aware. So... This is the device I can attach it to the dashboard if I want. So if anything happens, I can just attach the camera to the dashboard and just use it as a dash camera. Um, but yeah, so selfie stick, that, let me see what else. And this. So I really only bought it for like three things. Um, this, so you attach your camera to this when you're going in like water. Like deep water not too deep water now um, but you attach this to the camera and then it's supposed to let the camera float back up so we're going to test it out the next time I go to any um, rivers because I'm not really a beach person because I don't like salt water so yeah um, you get some other stuff as well like these which are some strap-ons like where you can put it on your your wrist this is the wrist one. So you strap it on like on your wrist. Strap the camera onto your wrist. There is I'm trying to find everything because you get a lot of attachments, that's for sure. You just know that you're gonna get a lot of attachments. But most of them is just like when you're attaching it to like an helmet or a bicycle, a bike. Oh yeah, another thing as well. Let me see if I can find it. So, one more thing that I actually bought it for was like when I'm out in public, I can strap it on to my chest. Yeah. So, like if I'm going down like a water slide, I'm going back to like Downs River where, you know, you can climb the falls. Sad to say the audio is not going to be the greatest one. And voiceover, voiceover is going to kill me for days because rushing water is very loud and I am shout, I'm not going to shout. So I can strap it onto my chest. So yeah. So I bought it for the chest thing. And I bought it for this. Um I bought it for this so that if the camera accidentally falls out of my hand, I can get it back. Um I don't really want it for the one that straps onto my hand, but I'm guessing 
the convenience like if I have one like a, um, the strap onto my hand would be convenient for like if you, you're in a life jacket you know you can always strap it here because the life jacket is going to be here so you can strap it onto your hand and there is also one that allows you to strap it oh this is a mic I'm telling you that comes with that cost so that really works so I cost if you're seeing this you need to fix your mic badly so you can strap it on to your head <laughs> I don't know why it looks like this but anyways strap it on to your helmet right this is it safe and secure all over your head let me see if I can put it on one moment my hair is just not making me be good so um it will look something like this over your head right but yeah um Strap it onto your head. It's like, you know, if you're going on like an ATV, you know, those big bikes that I want to go on, um, you can strap it onto your head. So that way it's a little bit more secure. But I think it's mostly for like, if you're going to use like um, helmets. Like, you know, if you ride bikes, bicycles, helmets. Yeah. But that is it. As I said, it comes with more accessories, but... I don't know what they are for and I did not buy it buy the accessory kit for it so I'm gonna leave the link down below for the accessory kit as I said the mic itself is no longer on Timu so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you watched the entire video I forgot to say if you like this type of content you know like the video leave a comment as well um, turn on your post notifications so you can know when I post and if you have any ideas or anything that you like you think would be good for me to try um you can give your give your ideas as well and um yeah I